Hi guys, this is Tech Geek from uh, Buffalo Geeks. Today I have uh, I'm really wanted to save you some money. Uh, I I know many of guys have this uh, drill machines which use old uh, nickel cadmium batteries, and uh, when we go and try to buy those uh, lithium batteries, they cost really a lot. These batteries are less than like twenty dollars each, like they're close to you can buy them for like fifteen dollars. Now when we go buy those lithium battery uh, drill machines they cost each battery cost about $100. Even from online you will see you could get from like $80 or something from each. So they are really expensive. So anyway, by now it's 2014, you know, I don't know. They'll get cheaper in a few years. Anyway, but uh, I I was looking online there are a couple of people who what they did, they, they take the nickel cadmium batteries out of these packs and they put lithium batteries in it, these kind of lithium batteries. And they've been used in laptops for a long time, for, you know, for like 20 years. So, and they are, the, they are these are the kind of the same kind of batteries probably in, the, in those packs uh, also. But anyway, so, so these batteries are really cheap because they have been here for like 20 years all the laptops have these kind of batteries inside if you buy them individually they cost about like a, a cheap one from a dollar each uh, you can get like four of them for like four or five dollar off of eBay but I don't recommend buying them because they are most of the time they are just really cheap ones and they do not hold much current but the best idea is to go ahead and buy what I did in this uh, that I bought a 12 cell battery off of eBay for like $15 and that had like 12 of these cells in it. I took them out and I wanted to put some of them in it to transform them. I'm not showing you the whole transform procedure because I've already done it but I'm going to show the this. This is the diagram you can pass, pause your video and copy this. I'm going to explain this. These uh, particular battery was 18 volt nickel cadmium. So I needed to make uh, about 18 volt. So each of these battery is about it produces it says 3.75 volt. Uh, but when we charge them their full capacity goes to 4.2 volt. So if they are fully charged as you can see I needed 18 volts so if I do like 4 into 4 uh, 4.2 it will give me about 16.8 uh, volt which is not which is not enough so I put 5 of them together it gives me 21 volt this is not a problem since this runs on 18 volt and if I'm giving it 3 volt extra it will give me a little bit extra kick on this I'll get a little bit more power it's not gonna it's not gonna blow it out disclaimer I'm not responsible for any if it blows out it's not gonna but I'm not responsible this is a DIY project um, I'm just showing what I did anyway so so I put five of them together and I got 21 volts and it works fine I've been using it for like six months now so here's this is each of the battery two of them are connected in parallel. Why? I want to give it a little bit extra boost so it can last longer. So there are ten of them inside. I actually needed only five. But I put two of them together in parallel as you can see and then five of these two in series. There is the whole circuit. You can pause and copy here. Making it close. Anyway, so that's how I will get 21 volts. Okay, got it. Now, and I will give this. I gave this uh, socket out. Here it is. So I can charge it from this way, from this port. Now, another extra thing what I did, because many of people they did this. They put the batteries in it, then they charge it through. Either they charge it three through this, or either they just charge through directly through a, like a alligator clips. If 
but I thought this is like really nice rather than using alligator crepes and it's clumsy this is a really easier and nice way and what we knew it how we charge this now that's the second part now this is a charger it's a uh, it's called RC charger it's got, uh, the model of this is IMAX B6 this is about $25 from eBay it can charge a lot of let me just I hope you can see it yeah Ah, here's you can see it says it can charge I'm trying to get a good angle okay lithium ion lipo life nickel cadmium nickel matter hybrid one two six cells and also it charge the actually lead acid battery too from two to twenty volt it's a great charger for twenty five dollar I'm not showing how to use this. You can see a couple of videos how to use all this this charger online. Anyway, so the one extra thing I did is because uh, once we try to charge these batteries uh, using this charger, uh, using the charger, I can connect it here and charge it. As you can see, I can connect it to a charge. But there's one extra thing I did. These, these, this one. These are some extra work that I did with which nobody have ever done on the YouTube. This is called balance leads. These are normally found. You can find these balance leads in a life battery pack. And I have shown that connection here. The diagram for me here. Okay. Here's again. Pay attention. Sorry. Uh, battery pack one. Here, actually, battery pack one is uh, this. So the minus of the first battery goes to the connector number one. Then this goes to second, third, fourth, fifth, and the plus will go to the sixth number. It has seven connectors in it. I have seven connectors as I've shown here one two three four five seven I have not used seven because if we need to use like six of these then I would use the seven one to this so this is cut so now what I have made is a 2p 5s pack 2p mean two in parallel and 5s mean five in series the benefit of this is that we can charge using this charger the function we use we will not use lipo charge we will use lipo balance as you can see this I don't know how good you can see it anyway the lipo balance means that this charger will balance out individually each cell if I don't use life lipo balance so the lithium ion balance what will happen is that over the time all these b cells would get imba get imbalanced mean one cell will have 3.5 volt another would have 3.6 another could have 4 volt and they will not be in sync by using these balanced cables they will be always balanced mean they will be always the same volt now I'll show you in this charger I'm going to charge it not going to charge charge because they are already charged but I'm going to just show you I'm going to use a lipo not lipo what happened here I gotta change the battery type to light light lithium ion There, I've changed it to light bulb. Hmm. 
Okay. Here's, I'm saying that I want to charge. I want to charge lithium ion batteries. I want to charge them at 1.1, 1.2 amp rate and 18 volts, 5S. You see, I have 5 in series. As you can see, the, the charger says it should be 18 volts. So when they are fully charged, they'll be about 21 volt. One, but then when they are probably like at like minimum charge, they'll be still 18 volt. That's why I wanted to put 5S in it. So it's good. Let's. Now I'm not using the lipo charge. I'm using the lipo balance. Balance mean individually take care of each batteries. Starting the charge, it's already 20.77. As I told you, this the total charge will be 21 volt when they are fully charged, and they are almost fully charged. As you can see, the 20.77. Pressing this button will actually show me the individual voltage of each battery each cell okay it's saying full charge <laughs> as I told you this was already fully charged and I can see that each battery is 4.414.4.144.144.4.415 so that's alright okay they're all properly balanced so this is a great charger not only it can so it can not only charge but it can charge each individual battery and balance them but let's see now you're in the field you take it out and you went to the field you used it Well, you're, you're concerned, like, how much battery do I have, you know? Now you want to know that you know, it's working. But you don't know how much battery do you have, how much more work you can do when you need to recharge it again. So that's where it comes this another tester, meter, checker, whatever you want to call it. Again, so this meter is called capacity controller it should be more should be actually capacity meter or capacity test or a capacity checker rather than calling it capacity controller so I again hook up the same way well I can hook it up directly here but I'm not gonna be able to show you in this way in the in, let's, let me see this uh, I have to pick this up now it's showing me, I gotta select what is the battery type, LiPo, no, Life, no, medium ion, okay, it says it's 98% charge, it's 20.44 volt total, but I'm going to use this cable right now, so I can better show you all the functions of this meter. Okay type and I can select each volt each cell I can see how much each cell is cell 1 4.1 98% charge cell 2 4.1 98% charge cell 3 4.08 so they're all 98% charge now why this meter is saying this is 98% charge while that this meter side is fully charged this is a this is a clone version. It's not it's a copy version. The original one is like forty dollar, the clone is like twenty-five. And if I now if I would say if I recommend buy the original one. Because it properly balanced all of them. Because this is not properly calibrated. So it does the job pretty well. But it's not so it, you can say it's like two percent off. This meter is two percent off. This is accurately telling me what's going on. So in this way, using this meter, I can I know how much this battery is while I'm in the field. So it's pretty handy, so I don't have to have this big meter with me. You know how how big how, how much charge is my battery is. So anyway, 
Um, that's all about it. Uh, how to convert basically this nickel cadmium battery to the lithium batteries and using these two meter. Okay, what is the cost? Cost about fifteen dollars for these batteries. Twenty five for this charger. Ten dollar for this tester. Total cost fifty dollar. But I have converted two of these two different drill machines and again for each drill machine it cost is only fifteen dollars so these are the one which I can use over and over for this I can charge all my batteries which this I can check all my batteries so eventually so the initial investment is like fifteen dollar uh, fifty dollars including the charger and the tester but eventually if you put this you do this using the circuit depending on what voltage you need if you need like my other battery is 14.4 volts so I use four of these so the other one is actually 3 by 4 so 3P4S this one is 2P5S if you know what I'm talking about well if you look at this diagram you will you know how to make it even you don't understand what is 2P5S that's what you do pause the video look at the diagram make your own convert your old drill and uh, save the money and it's really a fun project if you like this please press the like button and subscribe thank you COVID benefit somebody